Hey what's up everyone, welcome to another video, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Android 12 custom ROM and OnePlus 7 series devices, so without further ado let's get started. To install Android 12 custom ROM and OnePlus 7 series device, we need to download the required files in our PC, yes the PC is required to install the custom ROM. First an important file is required is ADB and fast boot drivers, we need to download and install the drivers in PC. Without the drivers you just cannot install the custom ROM, so the drivers is necessary to install first. Second file we need to download is the payload dumper software. With the help of this software we will extract the boot or recovery image file from ROM payload file. And third and last file we need to download is the custom ROM zip file. I have OnePlus 7 Pro model, so I have downloaded for OnePlus 7 Pro. If you have any other model like 7 or 7T model you have to download the ROM for specific device. And now that we downloaded all required files in the PC, we unlock the bootloader of the OnePlus device. It is required to unlock the bootloader. Without bootloader unlock, custom ROM cannot be installed in the OnePlus device. To unlock the bootloader, we need to toggle the OEM unlock first in the device's developer settings. To access the device's developer settings we go in the device settings app and scroll down and tap the build number 7 times and it will display your now developer and then go back and go to system and developer options. And here we scroll down and enable the USB debugging toggle first. And after that, we enable the toggle of OEM Unlock. Now in the PC we run the command prompt in the folder where files downloaded. And in the command prompt we type ADB, devices, and press enter to connect OnePlus device to ADB. In the OnePlus device, a pop-up will show asking for authorization of USB debugging, press allow to connect the device. Now we type ADB, devices, to check OnePlus device is connected. And it is showing the device is connected. Now we boot OnePlus device into fast boot mode by typing ADB, reboot, bootloader. And press enter, the device will reboot into fast boot mode. As now our device is in fast boot mode we unlock the bootloader by typing, fast boot, OEM, unlock. And press enter. And in the device will ask for unlock or do not unlock the bootloader we unlock it using volume down button to select and press the power button to unlock and it will reboot and it will wipe all the data and reboot back to the oxygen os 11 Now in the PC, I'm gonna extract the boot image from ROM payload file. Open the ROM zip file, select payload. 
and extract it to payload dumper input folder. After extracting the boot image, we go into the payload dumper folder to check it's there. Now we go back. And run payload dumper executable file, and we'll extract the boot image from payload. After extracted, we go into output folder and move the boot image to the main folder. And in the device we again enable the USB debugging from developer settings. Now we again type in command prompt, ADB, reboot, bootloader. and the device will boot again into bootloader. Now that device in fast boot mode, we type fast boot, flash, boot. and drag the boot image into command prompt, and then press enter. Now recovery will be flashed. In the recovery, we factory reset the device first, and then go back and go to apply update, update from ADB. Now we are ready to flash the Android 12 ROM and OnePlus device. To flash the Android 12 custom ROM we type the command ADB side load and drag the ROM file to command prompt. Then press enter and wait for installation to complete. After installation complete we go back and format the device. Then go back and boot the system. And the device will boot into custom ROM. And there you go, Android 12 custom ROM has been successfully installed in OnePlus device. Thank you for watching this video, if this video was very helpful for you, 
do click the like button and hit the subscribe button if you want more videos like this. And let me know if you face some issue in installation process, I'll do my best to provide help. Till then see you in next.